Now, World Vision has constructed an e-learning library complex for the Lamashegu community, a suburb of Tamale in the northern region. The project has come at a time when e-learning is being encouraged due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Correspondent Martina Bugri reports. The library is to offer children in the area the opportunity to access and read wide to help improve their education, addressing the gathering at the commissioning. The World Vision Technical Manager, Andrew Fosudentry, said the library is in fulfillment of one of World Vision's objectives, that is to contribute to educating vulnerable children. He said the library will be managed by the Ghana Library Board. Mr. Chairman, the total cost of the project, including construction and technology, is in the region of about 50,000 USD. The complex has two big rooms, one for the e-library and the other room for viewing education documentaries and education broadcast. There are washrooms for children and a facility manager and a discussion corridor. There is also an office and a storeroom. The e-library is fitted with tablets and Raspberry Pi, which act as a repository of more than 5,000 books for different reading levels. The facility barely uses data. The repository is updated when there are new titles of books available. The tablet also has the Ghana Library app, which also makes books, including textbooks, available for the children. The West Africa Regional Leader World Vision International, Carla Deniza, said the complex is the second one to be commissioned by World Vision, adding that several many others are in the pipeline. The e this e-library is the second one executed by World Vision Ghana. The first one is in Busoso in the eastern region of Ghana. And I believe that this second one will result in many, many, many more across the country. To me, books, whether they're hard or online, are like seeds. They're seeds that when um, sown, they shall blossom into fruit. World Vision believes that children's ability to read is a great enabler for success in the future that will contribute to national development. We know that if a child is able to read, that child will stay in school and gain a love for learning. World Vision also commissioned a share butter processing factory for the Ogolun Sorum Marinuari Women Group. The Savlego Cluster Manager of World Vision, Joshua Okomuji, said the surest way to break the cycle of poverty is to empower women who in turn would empower their families. Ghana uh, believes in women empowerment and for us we, we know that the fastest way or the surest way to breaking the cycle of poverty is through women empowerment. What that means is that you enhance the skills and knowledge of women, you empower them to be able to take their development into their own hands. Um, this women group are just one of the women group that we went with. We realize they are a unity in coming together for a productive process. And for us, when we see women coming together, we work with them to empower them to do their skills. And the reason why we do this is because we know that the impact or the gains that we make translate faster to the children. Well, that's it for the AM News. But of course, the AM show continues right after this.